Hello, Mr. Angus Wangus, back for a video. I've had more time starting yesterday to work at this, and I'm going to be working at this more now. <clears throat> I've been very busy lately. But I just got things back together. I had to I had some things to do. I needed to secure it up, and I also needed to um, sort of redo this stand. And I need another one. But the first thing I wanted to do was compare the speed differences at a certain input, shorting out one coil set compared to having both on there with all the energy going over both coils shorted out. So I've written things down. One coil set, unshorted, um, drew 0 0.30 exactly amps and it gave me 600 rpm and now I have it shorted here's the here's the gauges now I have it shorted and it's going 690 now I'm not going to be touching the input oh, it crept up a tiny bit more 695 now next I'm going to piece together a video I'm going to slap on the other coil set and um, and compare and see what the top end RPM is, whether it's higher or lower than 690. Just to see if the extra energy of two coil sets flowing over each individual core makes a difference. Anyways, I'll be back. Okay, back. <clears throat> I have the second set on there and they're wired in series as uh, Cromery prescribed and I have the switch on here um, I've written things down it's shorted right now um, it took longer for it to get up to speed so this isn't uh, what I you know what I hoped but I'm gonna show that two sets now uh, unshorted pulled 0.39 amps and only brought it up to 370 rpm and then when I shorted them and they're all in series so they're all shorted I was hoping that the extra energy being added to each core individually would would be um, beneficial but it seems that it, it's not <laughs> so the input went down to 0.33 amps from 0.39 and the RPM only rose to 500 as opposed to 690 and we'll have a look I let it settle 500 so there you go not what I had hoped but this I had to check first um, I wanted to see if that was a fact or not, and it is not. So, moving on, I have ideas and things I want to do. Um, but needed to do this test first, very, very first one. I've had more time so to work at this, and I will um, from here on out. I've been working hard at other things lately, guys. But there you go, and... Um, loads input output um, now if you'll recall um, when I had the big wheel going <laughs> which is right here ironically out on the deck here but uh, you'll recall that I had the motor hooked up to this little wheel like this with just like it is with no coils on it and it, it got it up to uh, 400 rpm so with the output that I was getting. So we'll see what happens here. Be delving into input output. Now another thing I want to do is I have another one of these little motors and I'd like to put another one on this end um, for output testing. Not sure what I'm going to do there. I liked the Bedini as an output. It was a better output than these little motors, these little DC motors. But that'll take some tweaking. But anyways, working on this. And um, probably another bit shortly. Woo. 
It's almost kayak season. Yay! But there you go. Wanted to show this comparison and show you guys that um, one the the effect doesn't get better with them in series like this with respect to releasing the attraction from the core. Lots to do. Um, I'm all excited because I have time again now for this, so I'm going to be doing this a lot more. There you go. I'll, up the, I'll upload this and uh, I'll talk to you in a bit. Thanks for watching. Say goodbye, big boy. <laughs> See you, buddy. Thanks for watching.